Hi, my name is Jose de Corona and today I will be showing you my redesign of a YouTube submission that was missing audio and also had a lot of information in each slide. This video that I redesigned is over an educational technology timeline. As we know and as we have seen, technology continues to get more and more advanced and with each new educational technological invention, teachers are better able to teach their students in any learning style. Throughout the years, there have been many inventions in education that have made the lives easier for both teachers and students to teach and learn in ways that they were not able to before these inventions. Beginning in 1564, we have the invention of the pencil, which made it easier for teachers to assign homework because it was a lightweight tool, and it also replaced slate and chalk. In 1650, we have the horn book that was invented, which was a wooden paddle where children would copy the alphabet and a religious poem to practice their writing. In 1801, we have slates and chalk, which was a cheaper writing method compared to paper, and users were also able to correct their mistakes because of the slates and chalk. In 1870, the magic lantern was invented, and it projected pictures on walls that were produced on glass plates. In 1873, we have the typewriter that was invented by Christopher L. Scholes. His version was made up of mainly capitalized letters, and then the use of lowercase letters was eventually added by the end of the 1800s. In 1890, the chalkboard was invented and was used by teachers to give the students a visual on what they were learning. Chalkboards are also now replaced by interactive whiteboards and make it easier on the teacher to write down information that they want the students to see. In 1925, the radio was invented and organizations used this radio to broadcast lessons to schools. The Board of Education of New York City was the first to do this and it was also the first form of remote learning. Another invention that occurred in 1925 was the film projector. It was created to bring movies into classrooms and it showed stationary images that had to be manually adjusted as you move down the film strip, which was accompanied by an audio recording. In 1930, the overhead projector was invented, which allowed teachers to now face the class and use reusable transparency sheets to teach instead of teaching with their backs towards the class. In 1940, the ballpoint pen was invented, which was a new tool to write that was used in schools and in everyday life. Another invention that occurred in 1940 was the mimeograph, which was also known as the first copy machine, and educators were able to print out copies of course materials, and it required that you turn the drum filled with ink. In 1957, the Skinner teaching machine was invented by behavioral psychologist B.F. Skinner. With this machine, students could learn at their own pace, and questions and responses were written on paper discs. In 1959, the photocopier was invented, and it allowed teachers and other educators to duplicate course materials, and it also replaced the mimeograph. In 1970, the handheld calculator was invented, and math teachers were concerned that using a calculator would impair fundamental math abilities, but it was eventually accepted. In 1972, the Scantron was invented by Michael Sikorsky, and it was used to grade multiple choice exams much quicker than by hand. In 1980, the personal computer was invented, and it passed the typewriter in sophistication, and the Play-Doh computer was used to help in education. In 1985, the CD-ROM drive was invented, and it could save an entire encyclopedia on a disc using a CD-ROM drive and they are even used in computers today. In 1989, online college came about when the University of Phoenix was the first institution to provide bachelor's and master's degrees completely online. In 1990, the World Wide Web was invented and connections were dialed up, and it was slow due to not being able to handle video and having to use the telephone connection. In 1997, social media was invented, and it allowed users to create networks and profiles and send messages to other users. In 1999, the first laptop with Wi-Fi was invented, and it was introduced by Apple, and Steve Jobs demonstrated how it worked. In 2002, Moodle was invented by Martin Dugimus, and it allowed educators to create their own learning platform. In 2007, the e-reader was invented, which allowed for the text on your screen to be read to you, 
and Amazon introduced the Kindle ebook reader, which did just that. In 2010, tablets were introduced, and teachers would use them as teaching tools to help motivate their students by using educational apps that would help the teachers monitor their students' development. In 2014, Google Classroom was invented, which helped teachers save time so that they could focus on teaching. Google also stated that about 10 million students and teachers were using it by October 2015. In 2019, predictive learning analytics was invented, which was used to better distribute resources, change workflows, and focus employee training. Teachers were also able to see which students might fail a course. And last but not least, in 2020, EdTech apps are developed and are continuing to be developed, which make it easier on both the teacher and the student by making it easier for the teacher to teach and easier for the student to understand the lessons that are being taught to them. And thank you for viewing my presentation over the educational technology timeline.